CB1100 oil change video. First, get her nice and warm. And I'll explain in a moment why I've got a 2 by 4 under the center stand. Of course, you want to level the bike up. Here's your oil filter on the front of the engine. And here is the 17 millimeter oil pan drain plug. Make sure that the area around the fill plug is nice and clean and then remove it and set it aside so that when you release the oil, you don't create a vacuum inside the engine and it'll flow out much quicker. There's an O-ring around the fill plug. Um, make sure it stays with the plug, but also as it deteriorates, it's a cheap part to order online and replace. This is the reason I put the center stand up on two by fours and leveled the bike up so I can get my automotive pan underneath. 17 mil socket. Release it. There's a drain plug washer here. I'm gonna make sure it stays with the bolt. Here it comes. You can see it's not very dirty. Shop rag and clean it up. The engine continues to drain with the plug off. Here is the new uh, Honda oil filter. They're very good quality, so I continue to use them. Part number 15410MFJD02. It ends in a 01 for the previous iteration of the filters. This is just superseded. Let's see if I can grab the filter and spin it off. If I can't, I'll have to use one of these. Oh, I got it. Crack it and let it drain a bit. And spin it the rest of the way off. This bike fortunately doesn't dump oil on the headers. Take some time to clean up all this area, especially the mounting surface. Get in there and make sure you wipe everything up. And underneath the filter. So the oil pan has been draining for about 10 minutes. Just some drips as you can see. I'm gonna put the plug back in just tighten it slightly and show you something. This is Mobile's Motorcycle Spec 1040 Racing 4T. It's good stuff. But let me show you something here with the filter. I'm going to fill it up and let it absorb into the media. This way, when we fire the bike up, it's not forcing a bunch of air to that dry media. So I don't expect to have the filter completely full, but all the element will be saturated and ready to pump more oil through it. Let it sit for a sec. Put some oil on the ceiling ring. Confirm that your mating surface is nice and clean. And thread on the new oil filter. Okay, there it's made contact. You see the Honda here? I'm gonna rotate it. Okay, filters on, have not put any oil in yet, but remember how I put that plug back in? We're going to lean the bike both sides 
and see if with that big inline four we get some more oil out of the engine into the sump. Just leaving it a comfortable amount. Let's see what we get. Little cut. Rag. Let's see. As you can see, that's a pretty significant bit of oil. So that's another little step, uh, an anal step that I like to do. Here you can see to torque that uh, pan drain bolt to 22 foot pounds. And when you're changing the oil plus the filter, 4.1 US quarts, or when just the oil leaving a filter, which is acceptable every other change according to the manual, that's straight four quarts. But um, I think we're pretty good with four quarts, period, in my experience. All right, that's a pretty significant amount of oil that we were able to pull out of there with that leaning technique. Um, fresh ceiling washer and nice clean drain bolt plug. Torque wrench set to 22 foot-pounds. Clean the mating surfaces very well. And everything else down there while you're at it. And that's it. In my experience, people way over tighten oil filters. So that's one thing to be aware of. Um, I've personally never had one leak or spin off, but I have had to do incredible things to unscrew way over tighten filters. So beware of that. And then torque wrench. Do you have to use a torque wrench to tighten the drain bolt? No, a lot of people don't. But I've got it, it's handy, and it's the peace of mind that makes me feel good that I know I don't strip something from over-torquing it. But again, people usually err on too much torque on servicing oil items. All right, make sure your funnel is nice and clean. And let's start putting in oil. Before we fire it up, make sure you screw that fill plug back in. Not too tight, because we're probably gonna have to adjust it slightly. Before we fire it up, I just make sure that everything is ready to go. Confirm that I Tighten the new filter down. We did torque the drain plug. All right, we're ready to go. We're gonna watch this um, oil pressure warning light. It should click off pretty fast once it fires. Yep.
obviously you're going to have good ventilation before you run your bike inside your garage. After the engine cools slightly, check that your fill level is between the two lines. I'm going to take it for a little ride before I do my final adjustment. Okay, document your mileage. And uh, I keep track of my maintenance in the owner's manual. But um, wherever you do it, now's the time. It doesn't get much simpler than that on a bike like this. But I hope you learned a few things and I had fun. So I live here in Southern California, up in the mountains, drop down to the Anser Brego Desert routinely. The argument of should we use 10W30, which the manual specs are 10W40 in this case, um, I think is entirely justified by the summertime temperatures. I'll ride this bike out into um, temperatures exceeding 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So I think it's very smart.